So recently I bought a TI Inspire CX2 CAS. It was pretty cheap. And as you see, it's used. It has a bunch of names, stickers. I took off most of them, but it was cheap because it was already, it was like four parts, right? Or the OS wasn't working. It was stuck in a blue loop. That's the whole point of this video. I'll upload, hopefully on Reddit, I saw a picture of it, the actual problem that I that it had. I'll see if I can put that as the, um, the thumbnail so that you can recognize what I'm trying to talk about. And, and you'll know. But basically, you have to reset and delete the OS and reinstall it. The only way to reinstall it is through their website, not through a download. I know there's TI software, TI Connect, TI Student, stuff like that. None of those work. They don't detect the CX2 CAS. But you need also Google Chrome specifically. I tried it with uh, Firefox, Edge, and neither of them worked. I had to reinstall Google Chrome. So get Google Chrome, unless you already have it. I'll put the link in the description for the website from TI. It's their own website, so it's not like, you know, I'm not trying to, anyway. But you go to that website. Now you can look it up, of course. It'll be version 6.2 of the OS. And the way to delete the OS, because it still works, uh, you can still get it to the boot menu where you hit the dock button and you'll see it like all the way right under the on button, there's the dock button, hold that. Then the enter button under the plus minus to the right of the numpad at the bottom. You're gonna hold those two and then exponential, the EE, which is to the left of A. So you look at the, the letters at the bottom, you'll see EE, hold EE, which is exponential, enter and the document button, like all at the same time, holding them all three. And then you need someone to help you. If not, like, I don't know, figure out basically, like hold a pin on, on a table or something and get it to hit the reset button at the back. So you hold these three, the three buttons and hit the reset at the same time. It'll go into the boot menu. Then it'll have the options of deleting the OS with the, and formatting the file system because I don't think you'll be able to recover recover anything anyway. You I mean, you're deleting the OS. So format the file system, delete the OS. Once it's done, hit OK. I, I forget what the menu looks like, but it'll you'll basically just exit out once you've deleted the OS. It'll boot up again, and this time it shouldn't get stuck. It should tell you needs an OS. And that's where the link in the description with the website, you plug your, your into the computer, you plug in the calculator, and it'll detect it. It'll tell you the CX2 CAS, whatever. And then it'll tell you what you want to do with it. And basically, you just want to say update the OS, which will actually just install it. It'll be 6.2, like I said. And then you just wait. It'll be done updating or downloading the OS. And once it's done, it will reset. It'll tell you that you can disconnect it from the computer. So you disconnect it, whatever. You turn it back on. You know, shouldn't be too hard to get through these steps. And then after that, it'll boot up. It might reset a couple of times. It happened like twice for me where it just, just turned on and off. But by the end, make sure it's fully charged, by the way. Make sure your calculator is fully, fully charged just to make sure. If not, also make sure if the battery is okay. Because sometimes some people say this is the battery. It wasn't for me. The battery is fine. It turned on. But once it boots up twice, whatever, however many times after uploading the OS back onto it, it'll be fixed. And now it's fixed. Let me show you. All right. See, it works. And now if I go into Scratchpad, it, uh, it's all nice. It's really fast, faster than my other one. I had the CX, the one, or the one before this one, which is okay. And, but now, and that one actually has a, in, like one of those fat batteries. Not, well, it's not a fat battery, but it's gotten fat because it's like, I guess it's like old or whatever. It's, it's, it shouldn't be like that. But basically you do all that. You delete the OS, you hit the three buttons, reset, connect to the computer. It'll tell you, uh, update, you update it. It'll update, takes its time. I'll tell you to disconnect, disconnect, turn it on, should be set. And it'll get out of the blue loop, basically. And that's the only thing, because the website tells you to hold the three buttons, and that's it. But you have to hit the reset at the same time, which is the actual the extra step that'll force it into the boot menu, where you can finally delete it. But after that, go to the website. If not, if you don't trust my link, go to the actual website, and it'll just be the same thing. Again, you need a Google Chrome browser, or the Google Chrome browser, and you'll be able to connect your calculator. It'll upload the OS and you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching. If it was helpful, feel free to give it a like. If you know someone with the same problem, share it to them and um, make sure to subscribe because uh, I tend to actually upload quite a few uh, rare fixes for devices like my drawing tablet. One of them was for DaVinci Resolve, for OBS. Oh no, it was for Elgato, now a calculator. And I tend to buy things that aren't necessarily always, you know, completely working. So I might come up with another device that you have with a problem that you have with that device and I have the same problem and I might be able to fix it. So I don't know, subscribe, you never know.
and I never know, so go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. That's it.